Okay, you guys, these summer patterns are coming our way. And it looks like the very first collection is going to be from Vogue Patterns. I've seen a teaser from McCall's as well, so I assume that will be available within the next week or so. So it's a very exciting time. If you love these first impression videos and literally are on the edge of your seat waiting for me to post them, I encourage you to check the description box and find out how to become a Him Cider through my Patreon. All of my Patreons always get early access to videos like this, so you could have seen it on Wednesday rather than today, Friday. Um, so check that out if you're interested, and let's get into it. First of all, new site, or at least new this part. Um, I gotta say, I don't love it. The pictures are so small, and it's really hard to see just on a glance. Like, you really have to click through, which, I mean, okay, but... Still, I like nice big pictures personally. Um, and just like a lot of white space. I don't know. Okay, anyways. <laughs> the very first pattern is this Mrs. Special Occasion dress. Um, gosh, also, is $35 regular price more expensive than it used to be? Hmm. Okay. Um, click on image to zoom. Okay. So here are the photos we have. The dress is a, almost like a, um, is this called a mermaid? When it's fitted through the bust, waist, and hip, and then kind of flares out um, below the hip. And this one has a little lace-up feature. It also has, you know, lace with a um, lining, but also lace trim here. And then... The main body lace is on the sleeve, but not underlined. So that's interesting. And then um, this kind of high-low sleeve, where it's high in the front and then low in the back. Maybe they have a picture of the back. So that's what the sleeve looks like from the back. That's really interesting. Certainly would be a way to have like a fancy sleeve, but not have it be, well, I was going to say not have it dip in a bunch of stuff, but it might when you lift your hand dip down. I don't know. It kind of stays close to your arm, so maybe you would be able to keep it out of the spaghetti sauce, if you know what I'm saying. It is a Badgley Mishka design, um, if that is important to you. Here are our line drawings. So it also has this little scooped empire waistline. And if you saw my spring videos, we had a bunch of these. I have seen this a ton in ready to wear as well. This seems to be kind of like a newer um, way to tailor or get like a fitted look in the bodice rather than having it go straight across. I'm assuming in my mind, it feels like it would be more flattering. Um, it definitely doesn't feel like it would be less flattering. If anything, it would be equally as flattering or better. But it's got these um, little bust darts, that curved seam. It is straight across at the waistline in the back. And then you have these back darts. And then this little dotted line is just showing the underlining. Okay. They also have the figure flattery info, which is supposed to help you identify if this is going to look good on your body shape. So if your body is hourglass, it will work. If it is like bigger on top, you are more bustier and then um, have narrower hips. But then also the opposite of that, if you have fuller hips. This, I fall into this category, I think. Um, and I'm surprised that they think that this is going to be flattering on that figure. I guess it would be. If you're comfortable with fitted clothes through your hip and waist, then yeah, it could be flattering. It would be like, kind of like how Kim Kardashian dresses. 
All right, fitted lined dress has invisible center back zipper, purchase lacing, separate pattern pieces for the cup sizes, which is really nice. And then novelty lace, Georgette lining, charmeuse, and crepe de chine also for the lining. Oh, wait, I guess this means this part here is for the outer fabric options. They're not supposed to be bolded. And then the lining is these options. Okay, they need your invisible zipper. You need single edge scalloped lace, cording, and then two tassels. And then the sizing is 8 to 16 and then 16 to 24. I feel like that's different for Vogue too. Am I right? I don't remember the 16s overlapping. I thought it was always the 14s, but maybe I'm just thinking of McCall's. Anyways, and then here's your um, fabric requirements, and they're only giving us the finished garment measurements, the length. They're only giving us the length here. Okay. Next, this looks appropriately summery, lightweight, kind of loose fitting dress. Mrs. Dress, okay. Let's zoom. So we've got sleeveless, and I don't know if these are go days or how we're accomplishing all of this fullness, but the asymmetrical hem is really pretty. I like how they dressed this up too. That's also a really um, interesting styling choice. Neckline is nice and high. I don't know that it's meant to have these um, drag lines. I don't think it's supposed to be a cowl. I think it's um, maybe too high for her or too straight across. All of these are baby hems. You can kind of see that right there. They might have made this out of a silk, which is very interesting. I feel like this is all bias. Neckline and arm side. There's the back. Uh, yeah, I feel like these are going to be little panels sewn to the side. Tom and Linda Platt, I do love their patterns. The line drawings don't help a bunch, but I think you can see right here I think this is a seam that goes all the way down. And so this front panel is pretty much a rectangle. And then same with the back. And then you add these and that's what creates all of the fullness. Very interesting design. I like it a lot. You could also shorten it really easily if you don't want this ankle length um, design. And they're saying it's flattering for every um, type of figure. I agree. All right, very loose fitting pullover dress fitted through bust has purchase bias facings and shaped hemline. Yeah, this is very simple but elegant. I really like that. Let's see what fabrics. Um, single fold bias tape. Are you not gonna give us the fabrics? Oh. All right. Well, it looks like all of the sizes are in one package, small through 2X. Yeah, that's nice if you are this person. Well, really, if you're this, this, or this, <laughs> um, so that you can grade between the seam lines. But um, I think that they forgot to leave off. I forgot, I think they left off the fabric requirements. What a shame. Well, judging from this, it's going to be lightweight to midweight, well, the lighter side of midweight wovens. And like I said, I think this is some kind of silk or something like that. But it could be equally pretty in like a chalet or something, if I had to guess. All right, next up, we've got a, another little satiny looking dress it's kind of immediately giving me nightgown vibes initially but you've got beautiful gathers here again with that kind of shaped empire waistline this one has a point here 
um, probably some, yeah, some gathering at the shoulder, also gathering in the sleeve cap, and then gathering again here at the arm band. I do love these sleeves where they have the little band at the bottom and then it's like higher on the front of your wrist and lower in the back. I think that's really beautiful. And then this one is just long maxi length gown. So, and then you have this other version which looks very um, just kind of ready to wear and easy breezy. Um, certainly great for a wedding. This would even be a beautiful bridesmaid's dress. Um, so I like whenever they show, I mean, this is clearly a very nighttime event and this one could be worn daytime. Very cute. Also with the, um, the sleeves removed here and is the neckline the same? Yeah, the neckline looks the same. So just a different hem length and sleeveless. Really pretty. I love this V. It's like sort of deep, but not too, too deep. There's the back. I don't know that this is intentional for it to be shaped like a, like a triangle. We'll see. And I can't tell if it's lined or if it, I mean, I know the skirt is lined. You can see that, but this also kind of looks like a facing. So maybe the lining has facing attached. That would be nice. Here are our line drawings. Yeah. So the back is supposed to be like a little triangle. Okay. I like this. Loose fitting line dress has side seam pockets, invisible center back zipper and sleeve and length variations. It is a lined dress. All right, so crepe, rayon chalet, linen blends, yeah, lightweight, drapey, invisible zipper, hook and eye, and then seam binding. That's interesting. And the sizes is eight to 16 and 16 to 24. Um, and then only finished garment measurements for the length. Pretty though. Okay, next, I think this is a jumpsuit or maybe pants. Um, it's a little bit hard to tell. Yeah, just pants um, with this crossover panel. So we've seen the asymmetrical ones maybe a couple years ago, and now we're getting kind of like a tulip. Very pretty. I think this is probably a curved waistband. Lightweight drapey pant. Oh, and then the back looks like a skirt. So it's kind of like the opposite of a skirt. You know, because a skirt looks like shorts in the back and skirt in the front. And this is the opposite of that. Wow, that's so interesting. Again, a beautiful choice for a wedding or any like summer time event. Claire Schaefer, so you're going to get some impeccable instructions and um, pattern drafting, I think. But we have like a little pleat here, a little dart here. I wonder if, wait, it has to be full pant with this overlay. So, I mean, technically, you could make that work with some patterns that you already have. Um, but. Okay. Semi-fitted lined pants have waistband, overlay with pleats, and back zipper. We already saw that. Silk crepe, Georgette, Shally. Mm-hmm. Invisible zipper, hook and eye, and half a yard of ribbon. I wonder what that's for. 6 to 14 and 14 to 22 on the sizing here. So Claire did not get the updated size 24. Tons of fabric, as you can imagine. It's like pants and a skirt. Um, Sew-in interfacing. Again, the... the 
Um, finishing details that you're going to learn how to do in a pattern from Claire Schaefer are impeccable. You will have a very, very professional finished looking garment. Okay, and then you just have the width of each leg, which I don't really understand why you need that, and then the length. All right, next up we have Mrs. Dress. I'm so surprised to see so many long sleeves and maxi length for summer, you know? Um, the fabric choice here is interesting. I get why they wanted stripes, that makes sense, but, um, and a shirting, yeah, that makes sense. I don't know though, I'm just feeling, I don't know, maybe it's the design, but you've got like a half placket with a collar and a collar stand, so like a legit collar, and then it, I think this sleeve and this are all one piece, which is why it's so favorable for a stripe, because um, it really plays that up. Like, I get that. I think I just don't like that stripe. Here it is. Oh, God. Now, this looks like a polo, like a men's polo. I'm not, I'm not digging that either. Hmm. I just think, I don't know. I'm having a hard time with this one. I'm not, not loving it. I can't really tell why though. I can't tell if it's fabric choice for both of them or if it's just like the top, the collar doesn't match the rest, like the half placket with the collar and this silhouette maybe I'm having a hard time with. I don't hate the the idea of this. But I'm not liking it made up, either of these versions. Even the line drawing, I'm like, mm. sometimes I'll see the line drawing and I'm like, okay, I can kind of see where they were going with it. This This just, I don't know, I'm not getting it. Side seam pockets also. I don't even know how you could redeem it other than like just taking out the placket and collar altogether and just making like a regular v-neck, but yeah, I don't know. Um, okay. So cotton churning, linen blend, sear sucker, yep. Uh, buttons. And then 8 to 16 and 16 to 24 on the sizing. Yeah, I would just much rather use all this fabric for something else. Um, and then you have width and length finished garment measurements. All right, let's move on. This one seems summer and appropriate. Again, it's using a shirting, which is nice and breathable and comfortable for summer. I get that. So it has this um, like pattern blocking, color blocking, whatever you want to call it. It's also asymmetrical. So the V neckline is like a little bit off center. And then it has this really interesting seam with a pocket built into it. I love that detail. And then this is another seam here. So I think we actually have three fabrics in play. We have this one, this one, and this one, I think. Like this is the same as this, but it looks like we have sewn down facings, bias tape, and then a nice big like one, one and a quarter inch hem, just turned under, not lined. Um, this is a tunic, and you can really see those lines. And then they even have one here. I don't love how it sticks out and I don't know if it's sticking out because her hand is in it or if it just sticks out. That's cute. I like this dress version a lot with some cute little flats. I think that's a great summer outfit. 
I feel like this is just going to stick out, especially with whatever fabric this is. It's just a stiffer fabric, I guess. I like this one. Marcy Tilton. It's very tame for Marcy, don't y'all think? Yeah, okay, so three fabrics, like I thought. I like this one a lot. This is interesting. It would be fun to sew. Maybe not so fun to cut out, but <laughs> fun to sew. And, um, you know, the their little concept of three different blue and white shirtings is pretty spot on. You could probably even do, um, you know how I did the mixed gingham dress? You could do something like that. Or do seersuckers come in different... Like the stripes are different sizes, different widths, or is all seersucker the same? Is there like a micro seersucker and like a large seersucker? Something like that. This one's cute, real cute. Okay. Loose fitting, pullover tunic A has three quarter length sleeves with turn back cuffs. Dress B has bias armhole facings. Cotton shirting, linen, lightweight denim, a.k.a. chambray, and even stable knits. And then one inch strip of fusible interfacing. I wonder what that's for. And then 8 to 16 and 16 to 24. For the sleeveless version, you need less than a yard and a half of fabric, which is great. Oh, wait, no, there's a the contrast. So you end up needing more to do um but it's also longer so there's that so yeah it's kind of a fabric hog but three and five eighths total but it's cute 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 i love this little fun pocket all right now oh gosh this is very elegante we have got what was i watching oh twilight where bella and edward get married do y'all remember her wedding dress this reminds me of that where it's all this bias cut satin or maybe even silk or i don't know what they used for her wedding dress but um hers had like a ton of different little shapes and pieces and they were all cut on the bias and shiny side and matte side and it was stunning if you don't know what i'm talking about look it up really beautiful so bias cut dress with neck and armhole binding and bust darts so the beauty of a bias cut dress especially through the hips or anywhere you have curves is that it is going to drape around your body in a very natural way so it is close fitting but it's it's almost like a gentle little hug rather than you know being forced around your body with you know darts and you know other shaping techniques the bias just kind of gently hugs your curves in a very flattering way for a lot of figures so you can see here the they are recommending the hourglass and then the um, more pear shape it's really stunning i tried on a bias cut dress at goodwill once thinking this is going to look terrible but i just kind of want to see what it's like and i was i almost almost bought it if i had somewhere to wear it i definitely would have bought it but i didn't have anywhere to go in a i think it was like a cream colored one but also think about making this is similar to how they have in this little satin situation but um putting like a a uh oversized jean jacket with it or like a leather jacket think about you know kind of dressing it down a little bit and i think something's happening in the back because this is super low cut so let's see what we've got oh there you go this one is more like a um that could even be a chalet. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe a polyester, but cute. What's the back leg? Something's definitely happening. It is a little bit difficult to sew. As you can see, they have some puckering here, but oh, dang. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is incredibly sexy. My goodness wow okay girl well 
I'm not sure I go anywhere fancy enough for this, but if you live in or travel to like Miami, Bahamas maybe, I don't know, somewhere like, like Ibiza, <laughs> I'm thinking like this is sexy. Wow, that's kind of incredible. That's beautiful. Beautifully drafted. It would make an excellent wedding dress, if I'm being totally honest. If you're getting married and you're wanting something like sexy, beachy, a thousand percent. Dang, that's beautiful. Okay. Here she is again. Crepe back satin, silk crepe, or velvet. Okay. Maybe for the holidays. 8 to 16, 16 to 24. You really don't need that much fabric. Well, considering half the back is missing, or almost all the back is missing. That's incredible. That is so tempting to make because it's just so different from any of the other patterns that we see. You know, we don't get things that are this special that often. That's incredible. All right. Another little slinky special occasion number. We've got kind of like a high scoop neck with a keyhole. Super high slit, fully lined. There's some seaming, maybe princess seams. It's a little hard to see from here in this Black. I mean, don't they know that black does not photograph well at all? But that is a high slit. My goodness. Yes, very high. Oh, and the back is interesting. Gosh, she's skinny. Um, I think I still can't tell what's going on with the seaming. Julio Cesar. I don't know much about his like design aesthetic yeah okay i mean from the line drawing it's kind of sporty right it's giving me like you know racer back and these princess seams with the bias tape it kind of like if you just cut it off at the waist it'd be like a sports bra kind of Dress is close fitting through bust and fully lined with contrast binding, side front slit, and invisible back zipper. Crepe, crepe back satin, and matte jersey. Invisible zipper, hook and eye, 8 to 16, 16 to 24. So I wonder, I wish it weren't in black. That's so annoying. I can't tell at all. That's as close in as I can go. So I'm wondering if they used like a crepe for the body and then the satin for the bias. That also seems incredibly tricky to make. All that baby bias. All right, next up. Oh. Well, this is fun. Wow, this is giving me Amelia Earhart. Didn't she wear this in like some kind of neutral beige? That's the outfit I have in my mind. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's the top and the pants that we're looking at here. We have a kind of exaggerated stand collar, center front seam maybe, and then these dramatic sleeves. The pants have a waistband with a... Uh, uh, what are those called? Hooks, not hook and eye, hook, hook and bar, and then a, I'm assuming a fly front, um, pleats, very slim fitting cigarette pant, or a pencil pant. Wow, that is some sleeve. There's the back.
the back of the pants have one pocket, single darts, one on each side. And maybe, is that a seam or did they press in the uh, crease? Rachel Comey. Wow, look at that sleeve. Oh my goodness. Here's how you get into it. It's a side zip. There's obviously the seam here and then some pleats. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Little side slits too. Fitted top has overcast edge detail. So does that mean that your serger threads show on the right side? Side zipper, side slits, fitted plants have fly, fly front closure and back well pocket. Linen blends, poplin, lightweight gabardine, invisible zipper, a bunch of bias tape. Huh, I wonder where the bias tape is going. A button, oh these are for the pants. A zipper, waist, hook and eye. And five packages of bias tape. Something's happening with all this bias tape. I have no idea. Maybe they are instructing you to do Hong Kong finishes on the inside. That's all I can think of. All right, so the top takes about two yards, the back about two and a half. And then useless finished garment measurements. All right, now we've got, is this a vest, shorts, and pants? Oh, this is very chic. Very chic. Okay, so it's kind of like are these buttons, though. So close to the bust apex, that's dangerous. <laughs> That is dangerous. Um, but it's kind of like a double-breasted coat dress. I mean, you could wear this as a dress for sure without any pants underneath. But it's sleeveless. It's got a, it's got a collar, maybe more like a stand collar. More like a grown-on stand collar. Is that even a thing? And then you've got these bust darts that seem pretty high. There's some here too, I think. These seem high for her at least. A waist seam, little darts here, um, welt pockets with flaps. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, the darts are just really tall. They're even tall for this woman. And you can see the collars kind of like in there a little bit. I, hmm, oh, uh, <laughs> I guess it's her bra. Um, the shorts are not terrible. You know, Bermuda length, tailored short. I don't hate that. The, the crop length, super cute. I love how high they are. These are at your natural waist. These sit way up high. I love that. And they're more loose fitting than the last pair of pants we saw. The um, Rachel Comey ones. So that's nice. I like it with this little just plain tank top. I like the pants a lot. Oh wow, this fits her beautifully in the back. I mean, it's like it was made for her. I love the shape of the arm side. Yeah, I get it. I, I, I totally, I totally get the concept here. I think it just takes a very special kind of person with a unique sense of style to be able to pull something like this off. I don't think like in middle America, go into Target in something like this, I think people would be like, what is she wearing? But I totally get it. And if I were cooler than I am, <laughs> I would 
totally make this outfit. I don't love the length of the jacket. I prefer mine to hit like right here, which would be an easy alteration, but I mean, I get it, especially like with the shoes. I mean, the styling is, is on point, like totally, totally get it. These are a little, these don't fit right in the back. Did uh, the Asian, oh, we can't see, but it, I mean, from what I can see, it does not do that, so. Hmm, interesting, very interesting. Here are our line drawings. Just really beautifully tailored vest. And then there's your pants and shorts. So many seam lines. It's beautiful. Really beautiful. Fitted and lined vest has length variations. Loose fitting pants have front pleats, mock fly, zipper, and slant pockets. Mock fly? How do you get into it then? Hmm. Okay, tropical wool. That's like a tropical weight wool. Linen blends, gabardine. Yeah, kind of like suitings. Uh, five buttons. Two. Bunch, a little bit of interfacing. One zipper, one button, one hook and eye. 8 to 16, 16 to 24. Here's your fabric requirements. And then useless finished garment measurements. Cute. All right, now we have Mrs. Jacket. <laughs> Elbow cutouts. I mean, shoulder cutouts are one thing. Elbow cutouts? Hmm. Okay, so you have a, uh, like, kind of like a shawl collar, um, gathered seam here right at the empire, like, right at the your rib cage, your lower bust, a slanted welt pocket, and then you have this sleeve that has a elbow cutout with a ruffle detail and also this bell cuff. Let's see some other versions. You guys, what 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 is the point of that? I feel like this is an April Fool's joke. And that's the only version. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Well, Rachel. <laughs> I don't have anything to say. It's so weird. It's so weird. Just make this with a regular sleeve. You know what I mean? Just don't do the cutout. The cutout is bizarre. It's okay from the front, but this is strange. That looks so weird. The rest of it, though, is, is super cute. It even looks weird in the line drawing. Oh, God. But just imagine it with a regular sleeve, okay? The rest of it is really, really cute. It looks like... it, Like a cannon shot out of it. And the, this is the exit wound of the cannon. So strange. Loose fitting jacket has band, welt pocket, hemline ruffles, two piece sleeve with elbow cutouts, and raw edge ruffle detail. So the ruffles aren't even hemmed. That's terrible. This is just insane. Cotton blends, brocade. Okay, you don't want to be doing any raw edge anything with brocade, first of all. Um, and then linen blends. Two packages of double fold bias tape, maybe because it's unlined. 
somebody, I will pay you and buy the fabric for you to <laughs> make this with the elbow cutouts, wear it in public, and film people's reactions. Hysterical. Oh, it is lined. At least partially lined. Interesting. Oh, my word. My word. This is something that will be stuck in my mind for a long time, unfortunately. Wow. Okay. Next up is a sheer jacket. Semi-fitted jacket has shoulder pads, snap closures, side seam pockets, back vent, and belt. I mean, are you supposed to be able to see the um, shoulder pads? Or is that just um, in person you could not see it, but once they got the flash and the lighting to get... No, you can definitely see through that. Weird. Guy LaRoche. Pretty simple wrap jacket, though. Nothing we haven't seen before. Right? Let's see if it talks about needing sheer fabrics. That would be a very interesting choice. Yeah, novelty shears, gauze, and Georgette. So lightweight, drapey, wrap coat. I mean, I'm here for the concept of that for summer. I just, the shoulder pads being able to be seen, that's strange. And you can't not put the shoulder pads in unless you completely redraft the top of the arm side to eliminate that extra height. Hmm. Interesting concept, but I don't think that they thought it all the way through. Half inch covered shoulder pads, large snaps, and interfacing remnant. 8 to 16, 16 to 24 in the sizing. And then almost well, a little more than three and a half yards of fabric. Hmm. Okay. Now we have a very dramatic jumpsuit. Wow, very dramatic. Okay, so we have, I think, a forward shoulder with gathers, which creates this pretty much panel of fabric <laughs> that is called the bodice. Um, I think this bow sash thing is sewn into the side seam. I mean, I mean, that is a huge six, eight inches, maybe wide bow. It's a huge bow. And then these very dramatic wide leg pants. Let's see more. Ooh. This actually, remember the beginning of the video when I said I saw a teaser for McCall's? I think this is the, what I saw. So I didn't see a teaser from McCall's. I saw a teaser for Vogue because I loved this um, when I saw it on Instagram. But in this fabric, you can see that the little bodice panel, it kind of wraps around you. And that's what creates the belt or the sash. This is interesting. This would be really cute for like a birthday or like a bachelorette party, or something like fun, flirty, sexy event. Oh my god. Really, really cute bodice. Is this elasticated? Possibly. Wow. That is pretty incredible. I don't, I gotta be honest, I don't love the shape of the pant. I don't really know why. I don't. I just don't love it that much. 
<gasps> it's a shorts in the back and skirt in the front. And yes, it's, a, you guys, this is happening. This is happening. I haven't bought a pattern in so long. This is so cute. Look, it's like, well, it's hard to tell. Is it a skirt in the front or is that just the sash? They might both be jumpsuits. That is wild. I need just like the idea of the construction of it is so intriguing. I bet this takes 45 yards of fabric. And it is a short in the front, not a dress, but still. This has got to happen. Wow. Wow. Pull on lined jumpsuit has bodice extending into tie ends, side seam pockets, and length variations. Linen blends, poplin, rayon poplin would be stunning in this, broadcloth, two inch wide elastic, and half a yard of quarter inch twill tape. I wonder what that's for. Jumpsuit A, which is the shorts version, takes less than three yards. And this version takes a little more than four, the, the pants version. So fun and not complicated to sew at all. For all of you that think like, oh, I just started sewing. You're, you really only need to know how to do gathers. So like a casing basically, or a, um, you sew a tube and then turn it right side out. You can do that. And then I'm pretty sure this elastic goes all the way around. So fitting the waist isn't even terribly important. You could omit the pockets if you're not feeling that. Yeah, this is happening. And I think that I would like this if it were uh, the pants version, if it were drapier and it just fell a little bit closer to the body. Wow. And if you're not into this super deep V, tack it closed. There's plenty of fabric here to do that. This is incredible. I am so excited about this. Her back seems a little bit different though. Am I right? They look the same here, but like that's wider than this. I guess maybe they could have bunched it up some to give it a little bit more coverage. This is so cute. I have to have this. I would even pay full price for it. That's how much I love it. Wow. What were the sizes? Yeah, 8 to 16 and 16 to 24. Awesome. Excellent job. Love it. Okay, now we've got another little jumpsuit here. I think... Oh no, it's separate. It's top and pants, cowl neckline, grown on sleeve, asymmetrical, panel-y thing, and then a wide leg pant. Here is an alternate version. Love the fabric choice here. This, I'm assuming, is kind of like a linen or something. I don't know what's going on with the hem. The hem seems a little like not substantial enough for that fabric. There's the back of the tunic length. Oh, they're both the same length. Right, this hem is not, not sitting right. Something's not right with that. Oh, look at the waistband. Wow, so it's like a very uh, wide, deep, tall, <laughs> very whatever whatever word this is from your waist to the seam line. Um, deep, I guess, deep waistband. Almost like a tummy control panel. Interesting. Little dart, side seam pockets.
Okay. Loose fitting top has draped overlay and invisible center back zipper. Fitted pants with yoke have invisible center back zipper, side seam pockets, and length variations. So this is the top and then the two pants. Crepe, crepe back satin, rayon chalet. Yeah, I need those lightweight, drapey, silky type fabrics. An invisible zipper, 8 to 16, 16 to 24. Cute. Okay. Okay. Now we've got this cute little top. Wow, look at those sleeves. Whoa. Okay, so deep V, obviously. Stand collar, forward shoulder. They did a great job matching up the stripes here. Then you've got like a sleeve with this huge Below and then a oh god four or five inch cuff elasticized waist seam with ribbon or some kind of trim there and then kind of like it just floats away from the body very flattering Let's see if we have some sleeve options yes yes much better this is so sweet perfect fabric for it too So pretty. Very cute. Back has a yoke and then your seam again. And see they did the stripes vertical, horizontal, vertical. Pretty, right? Very cute. Okay, very loose fitting pullover top has stand up collar lined front and yoke. So this is lined and the yoke in the back, this is lined. Everything else is unlined. Casing for ribbon and sleeve variations. Okay. I just, I mean, I would make this and I would wear this and I think I would be able to pull it off. I just don't know where I would go where it wouldn't seem like extra drama for no reason I guess you just own it and you don't worry about it you just go to Target in your crazy sleeves and that's it But in my mind, this would be more of like an event, like a special event, daytime or nighttime, you know, not like an everyday, just throw it on and go run some errands. <laughs> okay, now they had got a lot of that fabric and they made a skirt. Um, again, with like a shaped waistband. Wow. And then a very, very dramatic flare on the bottom almost like a circle skirt attached to this kind of a-line skirt it is lined you can see that there the lining here especially right there center front seam this looks problematic but only because we're like zoomed in really close. Oh, there it is in a short version. So it's like a fit and flare skirt. That's cute. There's the back. Yeah, I like this for a skirt. It might be a little bit big for her. In the waist. We'll have to see if it says where it's supposed to hit at the waist. This feels low like it feels like even an inch below her waist which is normally where the skirts hit this feels even lower than that right loose fitting lined skirt with yoke has imbibles and blah, blah, blah. it doesn't say it would be in the pattern instructions though Lightweight crepe, linen blends, rayon chalet. Yeah, anything lightweight and drapey. 
one zipper, 8 to 16, 16 to 24 on the sizing, couple yards of fabric, three for the maxi length. That to me feels like you would wear that even to Target <laughs> and just feel like just fabulous. You know, when the wind catches it and you're like walking through the aisles, getting your bread and disinfectant and toilet paper and just feeling so dramatic. <laughs> okay, now we've got a sweet little shift dress, it looks like, with a um, dramatic neckline. Yes, this is, uh, was it Charlize Theron who wore maybe to the Oscars that big? Or was it Gwyneth Paltrow? One of them. Um, okay, so we've got a grown on sleeve. I am guessing some gathers here and then this dramatic collar is sewn on with a big bow. But other than that, there are no seams to this guy. Oh my. So you can tie it in the front as well. And then they attach the sleeve with a cuff, I think, to this grown on dolman situation. If this is a center front seam and not just the way the fabric is, props to their sewing department. That's cool. Not cool enough to buy this pattern, but <laughs> it's still cool. Yeah, I don't get it. I mean, I, I don't know, I guess. It certainly is easy to wear is certainly easy to make. Oh, again, it just feels extra for no reason. Like this, with this, just feels like a lot. For what? It's not more flattering, more like figure flattering. It's not more, I guess it's just more fashion-y. And again, I don't know that like, where would I wear this? A wedding? Okay. Some kind of like nighttime event? Maybe. Not even date night. I wouldn't wear this to date night. Dan would be like, what is that? <laughs> he would be like, what's that thing around your neck? <laughs> That's tickling me to think about what he would think of it. Um... Oh, wait, is this a, who does the letters? The letter sizing is um, one of their designers. Goodness. Oh, uh, fit. Fit. Oh, shoot, I can't remember her name. Three yards. Yeah, I don't really get it. All right, now we've got two kind of vintage-y looking situations. This is a top and skirt. The top has a raglan sleeve with gathers. What is this? Purchased um, ribbing or something? And then a skirt where the lining shows? This is strange. Uh, this is supposed to be... Um, turn back cuffs here. I don't like the contrast waistband one. I feel like it's just like drawing your eye there and I don't want people to look there very much. Um, and this, uh, yeah, I'm not getting it. Hmm. Today's fit. There you go. Today's fit. Sandra, I, I don't know, babe. 
I'm not usually a fan of your stuff. This is certainly not going to help convince me. Who's wearing, like, like, I haven't seen anybody anywhere, either on the streets or in magazines or on TV, wearing this kind of thing. I just, I don't, I don't understand. Semi-fitted pullover tops with sleeve variations, very loose-fitting pull-on layered skirt with exposed elastic waist. This looks like a, um, like a bicycle, like, jersey. You know how they wear those with all the logos on it? That's what that reminds me of for some reason. Yeah. No, not for me. Moderate stretch knits and then drapey cottons. Okay. I'm assuming this is bust, waist, hip, and length, maybe? I have no idea. Okay. I mean, even if, like, the fit is great, I just don't think the design is very modern. Okay, this is... Very retro. It's like a pillowcase dress in that the casing of the bodice forms the shoulder straps. But then you've got this very, very full um, gathered skirt. And I think that there's probably a petticoat under there as well. Very cute. I love the concept, how it ties a little bow in the back. I don't love a super, super full skirt. But the idea is great. Especially for that bodice. You just swap out a different skirt. No big deal. But yeah, circa 1954. That's cool. They reprinted it? Is that what it's called? Maybe if you didn't have the petticoat underneath it and it literally just fell, um, you know, closer to your body, I would like it more. But I love these double darts. And again, the, this concept is great. You don't have to use ribbon. You could do self-fabric and make a big long tube also. Um, there's also a center back zip. Super cute concept. The length of it too. I'm not, I don't love this. But yeah, I would wear that to Target for sure. Pullover. Oh, it doesn't have a zipper. Pullover sleeveless dress has bodice ribbon straps. Oh, bias bodice. Yeah, you can see the stripes are on the bias. That's cool. Ribbon straps and center back zipper. Okay, thank you. It's not a pullover if it has a center back zipper, right? Isn't pullover mean there are no closures? Huh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Broadcloth, linen, shantung, crepe. I mean, I think you could go with lots of different cottons. Um, yeah, any like of those mid-weight wovens. Chambray would be great. Seersucker would be awesome. Some embroidered something or another would be great. Linen. Well, more of like a linen blend, I guess. Uh, a zipper, four yards of one and a half inch ribbon. Again, you could make your own. Optional seam binding, eight to 16, 16 to 24. And then, yeah, that skirt, man, you need a lot of fabric for that skirt. So if you wanted to make a closer fitting skirt, less gathers at the top, then it's basically a big giant rectangle from your fabric. Um, so you just make it narrower rectangle and you won't need as much fabric. Also the length of the rectangle. Um, so you could probably squeeze this out of three yards instead of three and five eighths. 
if you're like trying to sew from your stash or something. Cute though. All right, this is gonna be our last one. A little random top here thrown in the very end. Again, with a very dramatic collar, which I don't hate. I don't hate it at all. Gathers here at the front. A uh, raglan sleeve, I think. Um, and then a little wide cuff, kind of a longer length. What's the back? I feel like the back is going to have something. Oh, sleeveless is really nice. Nope, back is plain. I like it. This is a, more of a shirting, and this is more of like a lightweight drapey fabric. So if you want to get an idea of how fabric choice plays, you can see this is like a lot more flared away from her body. Even the color is like, you know, very stiff. And then this one, I'm, they're both interfaced, so they're going to be a little bit similar in the collar. But you can just see how especially the hemline, how this is closer fitting and this stands away a little bit. Yeah, raglan sleeve. I like it. I would make it shorter though. Where is she? You know, like here's her waistband of her pant. I would just go a couple inches below that just for my body type, pear shape. Loose fitting top has bias stand up collar, which I think is what's making it kind of well, I don't know what the bias on the collar would do, especially if you're adding interfacing to it, unless you also cut the interfacing on the bias. Does that matter? I don't know. Neckline gathers, invisible center back zipper, purchase bias facing for A. Isn't she A? Oh, no, she's A. So that's for the arm side. And then raglan sleeves with bias cuff. I don't know about the cuffs and collar being on the bias. Why would that matter? Certainly not for drapiness. But something to keep in mind if you are using a stripe, that's for sure. All right. Poplin, linen, bent lens, crepe. Yeah, she's wearing a poplin shirting. Shirtings, cotton blends also. Lightweight drapey fabrics, all that. A zipper, single hole bias tape, and then zipper and buttons for B. Where are her buttons? Maybe the, where's the line drawings? I see no buttons. Do you see buttons? Oh, here they are. One, two, three, four. Okay, cute. Um, and then alphanumeric sizing and all of it's in one pattern, which again is great for those of us who have to grade between sizes. I also want to say, I think this would be really cute if you extended the length and made it like a baby doll dress. Or I guess baby doll dress has a seam right here above the bust, but just like a loose fitting, especially if it were like a little bit shorter than you might normally go for. Could be really cute. I like this one. Okay, I need a Vogue sale. I'm definitely getting that short jumpsuit. Stunning. Definitely. I would definitely get this if it were on sale. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's see if we have a... um a lookbook. Lookbook. Normally it's over here, but they have changed up the website, so I'm guessing not. So we'll have to go through it this way. But, I mean, what did you guys think? I really feel like they, for, again, we talked a bunch in the fall and the winter about how everything just kind of fell flat. I don't think any of us were like super excited about many of the patterns um, the past almost year, I would say. But I feel like this collection, they really ramped up the design elements. I mean, this dress is incredible. If I had that lifestyle, 
I would for sure be making one of those. But even simpler ones like this one was really great. Um, I loved this concept. So I really feel like they elevated their game a little bit. And I feel like they are justifying the higher price point of a Vogue pattern. Um, this one was exceptional. Uh, by giving you the tailoring, the high-end design looks that Vogue is known for. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. I um, will be back with the next round, whether it's McCall's or Simplicity or whoever's next with the summer patterns. And I can't wait to talk to you talk them through with you then. Um, but that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.